Balancing classroom responsibilities, homework, studying, along with my responsibilities on the basketball court is very hard work. Uh, it takes a lot of timing, it, likes, it takes a lot of scheduling, and it takes a lot of dedication. When you say you're gonna do something, you have to do it, and you have to make sure that you have the time to complete the task because you can't be sloppy. And so it really is hard to focus on both aspects when they demand a lot of you. But the balancing act is in knowing what to get done when, when to get up extra shots, when to read a little deeper into your chapter, when to ask questions in class because you may not be here for the rest of the week. You have to really know and plan ahead and that's really the trick in it all. It's about, uh, I guess, sacrifice. I mean, being away from my family, that's just uh, something I have to sacrifice. I mean, they're always in my thoughts and when I first leave them, it's tough, but then I realize I gotta get to work and I wanna be successful someday, so I realize that that's just something I'm gonna have to do. I think about being an athlete, you have to have a really strong mind, really. Your mindset, because I think of it like, when your mind is strong, then everything else will follow. I mean, that's why the Lord created it at the top of your head. You know, it's the top, and then everything trickles on down. And what advice I would give to them is basically you gotta have a strong mind. You gotta be, you know, you gotta have some willpower to really, just, you know, to go through a lot of stuff. You know, you're gonna have bumps and bruises along the way, but if you have a strong mind, you're able to overcome anything. Anything that life throws at you, even what sports throw at you, you're able to overcome all of that. My, my grandfather uh, was diagnosed with, with lung cancer, my, I guess it would be. Uh, freshman year of college before I was at Delta State, you know, and uh, making that first start was just, it was just everything I had worked for, you know, always dreamed of playing, playing in college, always dreamed of being a college quarterback. Uh, having my grandfather there who died the next week, you know, he got to see that, having my entire family there. After all the, all the, you know, work, hard work that's put into it, all the dreaming about it, and it finally comes becomes reality is pretty special. It's my final season. Um, I'd like to really step up you know, and show my team that I'm here to lead them. Um, in the past, we've had people older than me who are more experienced, and I always look to them. And to be a good leader, you first have to be a good follower, and I've learned very much from the people before me. So I, I plan to take that experience I had with them and pass it on to the freshmen and the sophomores and whatnot as they rise and try to teach them how to become a leader. I plan to go to grad school, and so not sure, you know, what career I want to take, but I know that uh, playing Division II athletics is going to help me, you know, build that team aspect that you need in the job and just become, you know, that person that you want to be because you've worked so hard in athletics that it's going to transfer into your career.